My name is Suzanne Nench. I'm a professor at Columbia University in New York. Right now we have clinical trials with those monoclonal antibodies in newly diagnosed patients in randomized trials but also in um, relapsed refractory patients and we think that probably in the future when you start to treat a patient with amyloidosis you will start to treat the patient with chemotherapy to target the plasma cells but at the same time you give the patient a monoclonal antibody that is targeting the amyloid. So by this you have a dual approach. You eradicate the underlying disease, the abnormal plasma cell clone, but you also help the body to break down the amyloid, recover with the organ function. I, I think that is really important in amyloidosis and that's one of the big differences in contrast to multiple myeloma, where we only focus on the underlying plasma cell dyscrasia. We have a new and updated response criteria in amyloidosis. So in contrast to multiple myeloma and amyloidosis, we focus very much on the free light chains. So I mentioned that the response criteria um, define a VGPR, a very good partial remission, if the difference between the involved and the uninvolved free light chains is less than four. So that's completely different um, how we assess response in multiple myeloma. Um, I also um, documented or uh, told the audience that um, the complete remission has to be maintained. Only when you maintain a complete remission, the patients are able to uh, have a long-term remission. We have many new treatments for multiple myeloma. So um, we have currently more options for amyloidosis that includes more proteasome inhibitors. We are using the new oral proteasome inhibitor, Exazomep, that was recently approved for multiple myeloma, more and more in amyloidosis. We also use Cafilzomib in selected cases in amyloidosis. I think what will be interesting to use Daratutumab or Ilotuzumab, those are monoclonal antibodies that destroy plasma cells to see what is their efficacy in multiple myeloma. There are some case reports and also my personal experience is that those antibodies, Dara and Ilotuzumab, can be quite effective in amyloidosis. But again, clinical trials are ongoing and I think in a couple of years we might know what's the role of those antibodies targeting plasma cells in amyloidosis.